Hi, my name is Ben, and today we're going to be talking about carbon monoxide poisoning, but more specifically, the equilibrium related to it. Carbon monoxide is produced whenever there's an incomplete combustion. This could be in fires, cars, hot water tanks, and even furnaces. Carbon monoxide is around us at all times, but only becomes a serious issue when its concentration, parts per million, becomes extremely high. So how exactly does carbon monoxide poison us? Hemoglobin is a protein that carries oxygen to every single cell in our bodies. But because carbon monoxide has a much stronger affinity to hemoglobin than oxygen does, it ends up filling up and taking up all of our hemoglobin. This means that the carbon monoxide has a much lower rate of disassociation than the oxygen does. And this prevents oxygen from getting to places where it needs to be. This entire reaction can be represented in this equilibrium equation here. And this brings us to a sidebar. We can quantify the molecular affinity of carbon monoxide by just looking at the reaction between hemoglobin and carbon monoxide. Because most chemical reactions actually move, go forward as well as backwards, we can look specifically at the K equilibrium value of this reaction. For the reaction of hemoglobin and carbon monoxide, the K equilibrium value is 750. This means that they would heavily shift the reaction to the side of the products, meaning there's not much dissolution of carbon monoxide. This can be compared to the equilibrium equation of oxygen and hemoglobin, which only has a K equilibrium value of around 3.2. While this is high, it's not shifting the equilibrium nearly as far to the side of the products as the carbon monoxide reaction is. Looking at the K equilibrium values of each of the individual reactions can give us a better sense and more of a practical look at the molecular affinity and the rate of dissolution of both carbon monoxide and oxygen when they're bonded to hemoglobin. And we're back. The equilibrium equation here is extremely important to understanding how everything works. So let's take a closer look at it. Carbon monoxide and oxygen bond onto the hemoglobin protein, which is represented by Hb in this chemical equation. We see in this chemical reaction here that the oxygen and carbon monoxide displace each other. So that means in this equilibrium, if the concentration of carbon monoxide increases, this will shift the entire reaction to the left. We see that this results in more hemoglobins being bonded with carbon monoxide molecules. This concept ties directly into Le Chatelier's principle. Chatelier's principle states, dynamic equilibrium is distributed by changing the conditions. The positions of the equilibrium shift to counteract the change to re-establish the equilibrium. This same principle can actually be used to cure carbon monoxide poisoning as well. The half-life of carboxyhemoglobin, which is carbon monoxide attached to hemoglobin, is around 4 to 5 hours. But by increasing the concentration of the oxygen the patient is breathing, this half-life can actually be brought down to around one and a half hours. And looking back at the equation, we see that this actually shifts the equilibrium back to the right, which results in more hemoglobins being attached to the oxygen. This change in concentration also increases the rate of reaction as well, as it decreases the half-life of the carboxyhemoglobin. So finally, to recap, today we learned about the equilibrium reaction of carbon monoxide and hemoglobin. Using Le Chatelier's principle, we saw how quickly the equilibrium can be shifted when there's a change in concentration. In the case of carbon monoxide, it can be extremely dangerous. We even saw a new application of looking at k-values of equilibrium to determine how strong affinities are for certain molecules. And finally, we saw how a change in concentration can very easily speed up a rate of reaction, in which case is used to actually help cure carbon monoxide poisoning. But that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a fantastic day. First try.